The Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1972 was enacted in response to increasing concerns that marine mammal species were declining in response to human activities. This act protects endangered marine species and is important because it limits certain types of fishing in different areas, creates reserves for marine mammals, prevents harassment to marine life from humans, and it requires the U.S. government to attend international conventions that promote the research and conservation of marine mammals. Congress's passing of the Marine Mammal Protection Act in 1972 has positively affected marine wildlife along the coast of San Diego. MMPA, as I think most people know, is an extremely important act, which uh, I believe ought to be reauthorized, and I think my colleagues share that belief. Tourists come from all over the world to visit the beautiful California coasts and to enjoy the abundant marine life. Huge schools of dolphins leaping out of the water and kayaking amongst the sea lines in La Jolla highlight the beauty of San Diego. These treasures are often taken for granted. Before the Marine Mammal Protection Act, things were quite different. This graph shows the estimated number of dolphins killed in the eastern tropical Pacific per seen tuna fishery. And dolphins that were chasing the same fish the tuna were chasing are now caught in the same net. Every year, thousands of dolphins die this way, just as they die in other kinds of nets, or are killed because they damage fishing gear. Schools of yellowfin tuna swim underneath large groups of dolphins, and since the 1950s, fishermen have set their nets around the dolphins to catch the tuna. Unfortunately, this practice injured and drowned hundreds of thousands of dolphins each year. When it became recognized what was happening, there was public controversy and consumer pressure to stop these practices, and the U.S. tuna fleet came up with ways to catch tuna that did not kill dolphins. These ways are known as dolphin-safe practices. In 1994, the Marine Mammal Protection Act banned imports of tuna that were not caught using dolphin-safe fishing techniques. The fishing industry is a broad group that opposes regulations set in place by the Marine Mammal Protection Act. Fishermen feel that some marine mammals are pests and that they are competing with sea lions when it comes to catching fish. The Marine Mammal Protection Act gets in the way of subsistence whaling, which is a cultural and historical heritage of Alaskan Eskimos. It also impacts fisheries because fishermen must modify their fishing nets to meet the needs of the Marine Mammal Protection Act. For example, the Alaska Eskimo Whaling Commission advocates for subsistence whaling rights disagreeing with the Marine Mammal Protection Act because they want to capture and kill whales. Aboriginal subsistence whaling groups like these kill whales for cultural and nutritional requirements. The Marine Mammal Protection Act regulates how many whales can be killed. One problem is that the Marine Mammal Protection Act does not regulate what other governments should do, and since whales and dolphins migrate from one part of the ocean to another, simply protecting them when they are in the U.S. will not prevent mortality elsewhere. Many U.S. fishermen feel that they are unfairly regulated, while foreign fleets get away with lax regulation in international waters. This conflict is known as the tragedy of the common. Although it was a challenge, these opposing viewpoints were blended with advocators. The International Whaling Commission is the global intergovernmental body conserving whales and managing whaling. The U.S. government uses this to promote a lot of the goals of the Marine Mammal Protection Act. Here in California, there are many examples of how the Marine Mammal Protection Act is involved in everyday life. As an animal biologist, um, the Marine Mammal Protection Act has uh, really shaped the science that we do at the Southwest Fishery Science Center. We do cruises uh, across a vast area of the ocean to um, survey the populations, determine the distribution of the populations of uh, whales and dolphins. Um, and uh, really this is to address the mandates, the requirements of the Marine Mammal Protection Act. For decades, families have come to this man-made cove on Southern California's rugged coast to swim, sunbathe, and fish. But over the years, they've had to make room for other families. In La Jolla, scientists are dedicated to the conservation of marine mammal populations and work with fishermen and conservationists to find solutions when human activities clash with marine mammals' health. 
I think it's an impressive uh, effort, which has marked significant cooperation uh, between uh, environmentalists, uh, commercial fishermen, government officials, and others. Oceana is a group dedicated to protecting and restoring the world's oceans. They support the act because their ultimate goal is to conserve the ocean, leaving it filled with marine life. Environmental groups like Oceana proposed severely limiting fishing, and the fishermen disagreed because it is their livelihood. NOAA Fisheries formed a take reduction team to bring these groups together and to find a scientific solution to the problem of marine mammal bycatch in the California gillnet fishery. Because of the take of dolphins and several whale species, including beaked whales, sperm whales, and short-finned pilot whales, and other marine mammals, this fishery was declared unsustainable under the Marine Mammal Protection Act. Jay Barlow of NOAA and his team were involved in evaluating and reducing human impacts on marine mammals along the West Coast. Working with fishermen, Dr. Barlow's research showed that using acoustical pinger devices in the fishing nets, whales and dolphins were able to avoid being caught. Regulations were then made in response to the recommendations of the Take Reduction Team. This is a good example of a solution, however, there are still many challenges faced by opposing groups every day. It is important to keep modifying and improving the Marine Mammal Protection Act to continue on the path to scientific solutions.